Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's begin lecture 20. See, so in next couple of lectures, we will be discussing Bohr-Bay diagram. We have already started looking at Bohr-Bay diagram because it uh, is an important aspect, an important feature in electrochemistry. And when you look at the corrosion, then this understanding of Bohr-Bay diagram is very, very essential. Now, as we have told that the Bohr-Bay diagram is nothing but the stability plot between of different phases between in the in the plot of E versus pH. This is the uh, Bohr-Bay diagram. This is a basically stability diagram. Now, whenever we talk about Bohr Bay diagram, we must understand certain facts. And what are those facts? One, we would only consider reactions involving oxygen, H2O, H plus, OH minus, metal ion, metal, metal ion metal hydroxide or metal oxide. So, here we are talking about only this kind, there could be several complex oxides involving these many species. And remember, we will not consider any other species. Second part, we would consider reactions and those reactions can be categorized into four major reaction stages. One reaction of course, we will not consider, but that indirectly affects the pH of the system, but that will not be plotted in the Pobe diagram. And certain reaction only involve metal and metal ion, certain reaction would involve hydrogen ion H2O that means, water, metal, metal ion or an hydroxide, metal hydroxide or metal oxide. And certain reactions would involve metal H2O, hydrogen ion and metal hydroxide or metal oxide. But between these two last two cases, one case we would see that there is no electrons involved for this particular reaction, but other case we have electrons involvement involvement of electron. So, let us categorize those reaction, let us categorize those reaction reactions. One reaction for example, in water we sometime we have dissolve of carbon dioxide that can react with H 2 and form H 2 CO 3. So, as I have told that this reaction cannot be plotted in uh, a Pobe diagram of a metal, but actually whenever we have this, this, this is an acid, this acid would have, this is a weak acid, but still it would lead to certain pH of the system that can affect the corrosion stage. And this is a typical acid that affects the corrosion of rebar that means reinforced bar in uh, in during in the in the in the, uh, in the which is basically embedded in concrete mixture but this particular reaction if you see it doesn't involve uh, any metal no involvement of metal so this is kind of type 1 i can say this is type 1 reaction. 
Now, type 2 reaction for example, metal I can have n plus plus n e equal to m, m is the metal and now since I do not know what is the oxidation number, then n plus for example, if it is a copper, copper plus plus going in going to copper n becomes 2, F e plus 3 going to F e n becomes 3 like that way we can have the value of n. So, n is basically nothing but the oxidation number. So, this is uh, this particular reaction if you see carefully it depends on potential. Why? Because this reaction can be expressed with in terms of Nernst equation. But this particular reaction does not involve any H plus ion. So, this H plus ion is not involved. So, then the pH of this particular for this particular reaction would have no effect. So, it we can say that this is function of potential, but it is not a function of hydrogen ion concentration. So, this is a function of E, but not a function of hydrogen ion. So, or not a function of pH. So, whenever we have hydrogen ion presence, we can express in terms of pH. This we call it type 2. We can have another reaction. For example, uh, let us say I can have M which can react with 2 H 2 O, it can go to M O H whole 2 plus 2 H plus plus 2 E and that time N is basically 2. This is another reaction we can consider that can happen in water when a metal is exposed to moisture or water aqueous medium. So, now here we see that it is a we have here also we can express this particular reaction in terms of Nernst equation R T 2 f since number of electrons involved for this reduction process is 2 f 2 ln activity of oxidant. Now, here the oxidant part is this part and reductant part is this part. So, I can write this particular reaction in reverse. So, m o h whole 2 plus 2 h plus plus 2 e equal to m plus 2 h 2 o. So, now here the m has got 2 plus. So, the 2 plus going to 0. So, it is a reduction. So, this reduction process we can express in terms of A m O H whole 2 A H plus to the power 2 A m A H 2 O this A is nothing but the activity. I can express this in this form. Now, interestingly this particular equation once we express in terms of Nernst equation, it becomes a function of potential. But here if we consider these, this particular hydroxide to deposit back to or to settle down that means, because of its very low solubility product, solubility uh, constant. So, this particular thing if it is if we consider to be pure and solid. So, I can consider activity to be 1 and if we consider it is a pure water we becomes activity 1 metal of course, it is pure and activity 1. So, then this equation we can write in terms of E 0 plus R T 2 F L N activity of H plus we can write
So, we can express this reaction through this Norst equation. So, you see that it is function of potential at the same time it a it is a function of H plus ion presence or function of pH. So, this reaction becomes the th type 3 gap type 3 category. Now, we have one more reaction that is also possible where let us say this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Now, we have one more which is m 2 plus plus 2 H 2 O, it can go to m O H whole 2 plus 2 H plus. So, this reaction we can also have where you see that it does not involve any electron. So, if there is no involvement of electron, so we cannot express the equilibrium for this particular reaction in terms of potential, we cannot express. But this is a chemical reaction, so these chemical reactions can be expressed in terms of equilibrium constant which is nothing but activity of product. So, activity is m o h whole 2 h plus square activity of m 2 plus and activity of h 2 o square. So, if we see this reaction is this reaction. So, if we consider the forward reaction so, I can express k to be like this, whether forward or backward it does not matter because it is a it is it is equilibrium constant. So, I can write this. Now, once we write this then we can also simplify this equation. This equation can be written log k equal to as we have mentioned m o h settle down. So, it is a solid and that to pure. So, m o h whole 2 we can consider 1 a h 2 o still we can consider 1 because it is a pure water. Then it goes to the equation boils to log activity of h plus activity of m 2 plus this. So, I can write if I convert activity into concentration assuming that it is maintaining uh, ideal solution. So, in case of ideal solution activity becomes concentration. So, that case I can write log two minus log plus. Now, we see that in this final equation becomes I can put it as p h because this is nothing but minus of p h with a 2 sign because 2 would come here minus log of m plus 2 plus concentration. So, this is an equation which can decide the stability of m 2 plus and stability of m o h whole 2, but this particular reaction does not contain potential. So, the potential cannot decide this particular reaction, potential cannot tell me the stability of this particular reaction because it, it does not involve any electron acceptance or electron uh, if the system is not also uh, giving away electrons. So, no cathodic or no anodic reactions are taking place in this entire reaction. So, it is pH dependent function of pH because here we have pH, but it is not a function of potential. So, this is type 4.
So, this equation becomes type 4. So, the type 4 equation can be can be expressed with this. Now, whenever we are having this equations for example, equations like this equation like this and finally, we are boiling it to we are we are getting to this particular equations or equations like this. These equations would enable us to plot pore bed diagram and also enable us to find out the stability of M 2 plus M or M hydroxide, because here we are only considering hydroxide we can also have set of reactions involving oxides also metal oxides. Now, as I have told you that uh, uh, first one was this many species are considered depending on the possibility of formation of this species or this species and or the possibility of having dissolved oxygen or deaerated and then second part was we can have four types of reactions, but mainly we are considering type 3 to type 4. So, this reactions we are considering to happen uh, in the aqueous system and that would lead to the plotting of E versus pH and that to that would give us the Pobe diagram. Now, interestingly the Pobe diagram will not be complete if we do not consider four reactions involving only oxygen dissolve oxygen of course, hydrogen, hydrogen ion and two other species which are OH minus and H 2 O. So, now we can have four more reactions involving H plus, OH minus, O 2, H 2 O, H 2. So, this five species can have following reactions 1 H plus plus 2 E equal to H 2 to O 2 plus 4 H plus plus 4 E equal to 2 H 2 O 3 O 2 plus 2 H 2 O plus 4 E equal to 4 O H minus and fourth H 2 O plus 2 E equal to H 2 plus 2 O H minus. Now, you see all four reactions we have already discussed before these two reactions are possible in pH less than 7 that means acidic medium and these two reactions are possible when pH is greater than equal to 7 neutral or basic medium. Now, all four reactions you see that the electrons are involved and all four reactions we have H plus ion presence in these two cases and OH minus ion presence. Now, whether we have H plus or OH minus, we can express Nernst equation in terms of potential as well as pH. So, now all four reactions are function of potential and function of pH. So, in these two cases, it is a function of pOH which can be written in the form of pH. Now, this calculations we have done it before you just go back and then see some of the earlier lectures you will see that all four reactions we have tried to find out the reduction potential as a function of standard reduction potential and the pH of the solution. And also we have tried to plot those reactions as a function of pH. We, if you go back, you can have a look at it again. So, but these four reactions also are function of potential and function of pH. So, that means logically we have two types of reactions one which involves three types, one which involve potential. So, that means three type, type 1 only potential dependent. but pH independent 
second type potential dependent and pH dependent and third type potential independent and pH dependent. So, this three would allow us to find out a Povey diagram. Now, in addition to that, we can have the third criteria condition. So, this Povey diagram are basically a thermodynamic stability diagram. It does not involve any kinetics. Now, from this diagram we will not be able to tell at what rate if there is any corrosion of a metal in the aqueous medium, what rate it is going we cannot be able to tell from this Bobe diagram. Because it is a thermodynamic stability diagram why? In order to find a Bobe diagram we have to find out those equations, the equations like what we have shown. So, this equation like uh, uh, this one or this one or this one and then finally, of course, this equation and the equations related to all four reactions involving hydrogen ion, oxygen, water, hydroxide and hydrogen, we have to get the information about standard chemical potential. And whenever we talk about standard chemical potential of a species that indicates that they are in their activity 1. And whenever we talking about activity 1, we assume that they are pure state. So, since we have understood that uh, what are the species that are possible in combination of course, we have chemical potential of metal, chemical potential of metal ion, chemical potential of oxygen, chemical potential of hydrogen, chemical potential of metal hydroxide, chemical potential of metal oxide, H 2 O, OH minus are we missing anything. So, metal, metal ion, oxygen, hydrogen plus, metal hydroxide, metal oxide, H 2 O, OH minus and of course, H 2 we have to make use of the chemi standard chemical potentials of all the species in a particular reactions, particular set of reactions we have to consider those chemical potentials. Now, how do we get it? For example, K if I consider the activity this uh, uh, equilibrium constant is nothing but delta Z 0 with a negative sign here. Now, delta Z 0 we can write as we have done it before the summation of chemical potential of standard chemical potential of product minus summation of chemical potential of reactant. So, this will give us free energy change from that we can calculate activity uh, this equilibrium constant. And similarly, we have another reaction N f E 0 equal to delta Z 0 which is similar like this we can have product minus summation of product of uh, this uh, chemical potential standard chemical potential of all the uh, species that are involved in a reaction and the uh, summation of chemical standard chemical potential of um, reactants in that particular reactions. For example, M 2 plus plus N E equal to M here we have this chemical species this species 
and of course, uh, sorry here we are considering 2 that means, instead of n we can put 2 e. So, here this is we have to consider chemical potential of 2 plus, we have to consider chemical potential of m and of course, we can consider the chemical potential of electron also that chemical potential will be used up in 2 f. So, we have a relation for this we are not getting a detail of that relation, but this one contributes to this 2 f delta z 0 comes from uh, chemical potential of m minus chemical potential of m 2 plus. So, this is delta z 0 minus 2 f e 0. So, this 2 f is related to this 2 electron and of course, uh, that is also related to chemical potential of electron as we have said that we are not going detail uh, uh, derivation of this particular relation for reaction relation from the chemical potential of all the species involving electron also. But for, uh, for our understanding we can see that this one this electron is contributing this part and this one is can be found out from this relation and this comes from this. So, we see that these are all thermodynamic data, these are all thermodynamic data and these thermodynamic data will be used of to find out reaction equilibrium constant or the chemical potential or the uh, standard reduction potential and this equilibrium constant will be used for uh, type 4 type of uh, this particular this particular reactions and in this case k equal to delta z 0 minus r t and in this case e 0 equal to delta z 0 n f minus. So, there we have application of delta z 0 or the application of standard chemical potential of the species. In addition to that, so we have to calculate this uh, this k or e 0 from standard chemical potential data, but sometimes we do experience ion activity to be not to be 1. So, that case we have to make use of Nernst equation, where we also have contribution from the ions of metals. So, then finally, we would construct Borbeck diagram. So, these are the basic consideration on which this diagram will be built on. So, in our next lecture, we will try to find out one example in the nickel system, nickel H 2 O system, we will try to see the Pobet diagram and we will start from the chemical potential of different species and we will end up getting that diagram and then we will see that yes, in this position if I am, then I will get metal remaining as metal in this position if I go I will get metal ion formation or corrosion or at certain region we might get metal hydroxide which will settle down. So, we consider it to be a passivating zone. So, let us stop here we will continue our discussion in our next lecture where we will start with the pore bay diagram calculation in case of nickel H 2 O system. Thank you. Thank you.